Hey guys, check it out today. We're looking at the orange pie. Now, it's pretty confusing the naming that orange pie have, but this one inside here is the orange pie PC version 1.2. There are a number of orange pies that you can buy at this time. This one, the Orange Pie PC, I got for 15 bucks, which at the time was pretty much incredible. But of course, the Pi Zero has since come out. And while I don't have a Pi Zero, it means that this is no longer the cheapest of the pies that you can buy. Right, this is a proper unboxing. This will be my first look and first walk around too. Um, so inside the box, there's the box. It's... Um, that was the other side of it. A new generation of mini PC getting started. Basically it comes with this regulatory compliance safety information. Interestingly for the Orange Pi Mini, Orange Pi and Orange Pi Plus, none of which I have here. This again is the Orange Pi PC. But anyways, we'll assume that the same compliance and standards apply to this. So let's open this up, have a quick look inside. Now, usually these have quick pulls, but this doesn't seem to, so I'm gonna have to grab some scissors to get inside of it. Some handy kitchen scissors here, and I'll just slice that open. All right, there we have it. Just gonna zoom in a little bit. All right, here we have the Orange Pie PC version 1.2. You can see that on the board right there. Let's just have a quick walk around the board. So this is your power in. Uh, unlike the Raspberry Pis or some of the Banana Pies, this actually has the push rod power in. It's not a USB power as a lot of the other ones have been. Following on from the power, we have the UART TTL debugging three pin switch there. This of course is the HDMI. Next to the HDMI is a small onboard microphone. That's right there. Uh, beside that, we have the video and audio output. So this is the yellow combined with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So it's both in one. Here we have two USB 2 ports. Here we have 100 meg ethernet, so this is not the gigahertz that you find on the banana, but more similar instead to the Raspberry Pi. Here, which is quite unusual, I've never actually seen this on one of these mini boards before, is a sideways mounted USB 2. Do you see that? So that's a sideways, it's kind of a, it's kind of a neat space saving way to do it, I guess, uh, unlike anything else. This of course is your infrared receiver, here are your 40, just double checking that, yeah, 40 pin headers. This is the USB OTG. This is a camera attachment. And this is a little power switch. So you can turn it on and off. So uh, just a couple things on the board. We have uh, the two RAM modules. Those are 512 each. This is a quad core processor. 1.6 gigahertz. Now, one of the advantages to this, and we'll talk more about this in a minute, is that this outputs 4K video. So unlike the Raspberry Pis, which do 1080p, also the Banana Pis, which do 1080p, this one does 4K, which is pretty cool. Just a couple things to note on the top here. You're missing the LVDS that you commonly find on these boards. So this will never have a monitor attachment integrated inside of it. Flipping over to the other side, we have the SD card input there. Back over, just checking now. I thought that this had a Wi-Fi module on it, but it doesn't appear to actually. In truth, there is no Wi-Fi module. Again, this is one of the tricky things about all of these different orange pies, even though this is the first one I've ever myself got my hands on. Um, there are so many variations. I'm a little bit surprised. Okay, so now we've had a walk around the board. Let's talk about what really this is. This is a great little computer 
if you want to use it for a specific function. So maybe it's best if we talk about what its competitors are good at versus what this one is good at. Okay, so just lining this up against a couple of other boards here, uh, there's the orange pie that we've been talking about. This is the Banana Pi M1. Uh, this, of course, is a Raspberry Pi version 2. So these boards are quite similar. If you're just looking at them, you might easily get them confused between one another, but they're all kind of better in different ways. So let's talk about what those different ways are so that you can understand where this one fits and why you might choose it over the others or the others over it. So the, the Orange Pi's real advantage, while it has similar amounts of RAM and uh, slightly faster CPU, the real advantage to this one over the other two is the 4K video. So if you wanted to do 4K video, like say make a media player, you might choose this one. Now it does things that the other two do as well, but it might not be as good a choice as the others for a couple of reasons. On the Banana Pi, you get the gigabit ethernet. So if you're going to be building a server that's going to be wired in, the gigabit ethernet of the Banana Pi makes it the best choice for that job. The Raspberry Pi, of course, has the biggest community around it. And while this one, the Raspberry Pi 2, has the fastest CPU that it's had in a long time, it's still not quite up to scratch with the other two. But the software is so much better and the community is so much better around the Raspberry Pi. I would say for any project other than a server or a 4K video server, you'd probably want to choose the Raspberry Pi. For all of your projects, you probably noticed that a lot of my projects are around the Raspberry Pi. The reason is that the Raspberry Pi is so well supported. So even though the price of these three can fluctuate quite a bit, the Raspberry Pi is best when doing a generic project. The Orange Pi, while inexpensive and could do some of the project stuff, it's not going to have the same sort of community support as the Raspberry Pi or even the Banana Pi. And the Banana Pi, of course, has ported a lot of the Raspberry Pi software, so it's okay, but it's not as well supported in the community, and it doesn't have as many cases or options for it as the Raspberry Pi does. Well, I hope I've made sense of where the Orange Pi fits in. This has just been an unboxing video to kind of explain where it goes. I don't have a 4K monitor, but what I'll do in a future video is do a run test of the Orange Pi, just to make sure that it, it works well and it does do video handling in a better way. Well, thanks again for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please post them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you found this video particularly useful, you can, of course, buy me a coffee in the About section. All of the products that you see here will have links in the About section that you can find. Don't forget to check out my Raspberry Pi projects, my Banana Pi projects, and soon enough, some Orange Pi projects too. Thanks again for watching.